Many of you will be picking up Manor Lords in the very near future, and you have a burning question, which is, how do you most effectively rule your peasants? Well, today you can join me as I show you how to properly put these dirty, filthy people into their place and thrive your kingdom as it should be done. So we'll begin with the new game, and here we go. Uh, Obviously, we'll go with the mustachioed gentleman with the helmet, uh, as he is truly a man of culture. Uh, and over to the right, there is really only one crest to consider, and that is the one of House Bonds, which we can make here with the primary color of white. And of course, our crest will be a gold bezant on a sable chevron, as befitting House Bonds. And now, let me show you how to rule in peasants. Generally, the biggest problem you're going to face is surviving the first winter. Peasants are dumb. They can't fend for themselves. They can do basic things like remembering to collect food, so you have to tell them to do so. Ah, we have a message. Build up your town, your manor, and ready. Press claim towards other reasons by owned by your opponents. Once you have a claim that's been pressed, uh, be ready for battle. And all you like these lands under my rule, as of course I should be doing. Uh, any good lord as such. Now let's zoom out. Let's see our area. Uh, it appears we have some very good resources nearby. We have some basic berries. Ah, wild animals. Very useful for early game. And iron deposit and some stone. Um, hmm. Right, so right off the bat, you'll notice we have five messages at the top. We have a lot of homeless people. Hmm. They need to be told to uh, build houses for themselves. So they are freezing, and also they have some food, but no fuel. So let's start off by, uh, hmm. let's check out, we want to see here about agriculture, and specifically, ah, yes, we have some good water sources here. Immer, which is wheat, ah, very nice right there. So definitely plant into that field, and flax, not so good. Uh, generally though, we don't need to worry about that in the first turn because uh, we'll freeze to death before our first crops come in. <clears throat> so instead, let's give ourselves a basic street. Are there any major roads nearby? Ah, yes, here's the other major road. Uh, seems odd to do this, but let's uh, move our settlement over here into this sort of level area. It's already mostly cleared, and there we are. Our first road is done. Right, give ourselves a couple houses, making sure to give them enough depth so that two families can live there. Uh, or in this case, uh, a family and possibly any kind of additional thing they want to build afterwards. Now this does take two logs. Currently we have eight logs. Uh, we want to make sure to leave some logs over for some other things. So for starters, we'll just do, we'll do two houses, I think. That should be plenty of depth. Let's check. And it'll tell us, oh, there's actually four houses. Goodness. All right, that's no good. Uh, let's put them on the main road, at least. Frontage. Frontage. Three houses. There we go. And you'll notice I want to make sure to give them that extra bit of space there so they can expand as necessary. Right. Build that. And while that's going on, we need to have someone to begin to gather berries near the berry bush, which is... There's the berry bush right there. Right, so put our berry gathering hut near our berry supplies because don't want to build on top of it though. Right, it'll begin to build berries and gather those so we don't starve through the winter. Pretty straightforward. If you played games like Vanished or honestly like The Settlers, it's a bit more like The Settlers, uh, but with good combat, which will come up pretty shortly. Resources and main lords have to be physically moved. Right. Don't be surprised when your peasants move slowly. We just want them to vacate this hobo camp. Hobo camps are pretty useless. We got supplies, supplies, and a hitching post. Once all these supplies are used up, we'll move the hitching post, uh, which you can move in the game by uh, clicking that little button right there. You can relocate it once you've already bought it, which is uh, quite handy because once we paid for something, Lord knows we don't want to pay for it twice. Right. Um, what are our problems? We have exposed goods, right? So we need a storehouse. Uh, we need a granary for our food, because food is kept separately from other, other storage, and we have a lot of homeless people still, both of which are no good. So let's see about making storehouses, and all of such we need to go with is a granary and storehouse. Two logs, tin stone, and two logs again, of which we are down to one log. So clearly we need someone to get logs, uh, which cost two logs, woodcutter's lodge, provides firewood, provides timber, hold on, for the planks, huh, so if I don't have timber to begin with, let's uh, 
close that one and pretend no no how do we cancel pause demolish we haven't made it so we get our log back i believe right yeah logging camp definitely gonna need one of those apparently so in the logging camp we'll go because we're gonna need a lot of those lots of logs and peasants are slow so let's come down here we can zoom in you'll notice the ox actually has to physically go get the log drag it back over and can we see all that happening in real time the game itself is set roughly you no know, 1200 ish sort of high medieval you can tell from the the funny hats and the uh tunics with the nice tights generally can be considered the holy roman empire area if you're wondering uh, not any specific place though timber yep got to move with the oxen you know what i think i'm going to cancel one of these just so we don't have to deal with it right off the bat i want that wood for other things you know like a berry hut because uh people like to not starve darnest thing right <clears throat> and hunting camp definitely want a hunting camp because there are wild animals nearby as well don't want to get it too close though because you'll notice it says uh yeah don't overlap or it'll cause them to go somewhere else funny thing don't spook the local animals all right and pretty soon they're gonna be asking for a well i suspect because uh even dirty peasants need to drink water it turns out ah yes you'll see a handy dandy little guide right here telling us where to put this and we can just snap it right on right next to the roadside very handy boom and there we are nice water for our peasants as well trying to make sure to handle all their basic necessities because uh we're only in march obviously but the winter does come quickly and you'll notice you have a constant countdown up here that tells you how much you have stored uh and how much you will consume over the course of winter because um yes they eat a lot smell as well uh speaking of which uh, there's a smell currently the smell is not too bad it is not offensive to our sight but um hmm. I suspect that will change in a short time. This building has no assigned families. Ah, yes, that's part of it is uh, once you build something, you have to tell them to go work there because otherwise they'll sit around and do nothing all day. We'll assign someone to it. Excellent. Right, <clears throat> new message. I have heard of your renown. I only seek to defend my rights and my honor against those who would wrong me. I hope you'll not judge me by the rumors and slanders that some have spread about me. Hildebot von Berenut. Um... Right back. You have the rightful claim to Sebowitz. Declarations. None of this is particularly necessary. I was curious what the slanders against him were. I suspect uh, it's that his mother looked like a shrew. Because uh, he definitely inherited that from her. <clears throat> right. So we'll go over here and see what's going on. Burgage plots, these are called. So these are not just homes. It's a home plus the area behind it. Uh, homelessness will homeless will move to the plot. Approval is high enough. It'll attract new families. However, families need more than your space to be happy. Click on uh, to see the residential requirements. Right. So what do they want? They want water access and a church, fuel for food, uh, for fire, and food and clothing. So we don't have many of those really. That's all right. We're going to get there though. Construct a backyard extension. Extra functionality, right? So we can do vegetable gardens, passive yield of eggs, passive yield of vegetables, passive yield of hides, or an armor's workshop. Oh, quite clever. Uh, all quite good. All right. In general, we can also. Hmm. Backyard extension. Uh, a little bit of vegetables goes a long way. This takes 15 town wealth, of which we currently have 15. So I think. That's the cheapest one we have so far. And a passive amount of vegetables is always useful, to say the least. All right, requires fuel, requires a lot of things. And I think we still have some homeless people and some homeless storage. So as soon as we start getting logs coming in, uh, we're gonna need to do that. Yes, well, I'm gonna up the priority of our logs there because we gotta need them to build basically everything. <clears throat> yes, that's right. Ho! It's easy to sight a ho, even in the Middle Ages. You'll notice the distinct shape and uh, the way she uses the tools. I do love the design here. Very well researched. This is obviously a thatch house. Uh, looks to be Waddle and Daub, which is the name for the wooden beams right here with the mud between it. There's a lattice work of small sticks in there. Then they shove in uh, cow dung. Cow dung. Uh, obviously being the poor man's solution to just, you know, clay. But, uh, you know, do, you use what you have, I suppose. Right. Um, 
you'll notice there's not much difference between a house and a barn in this period. And oh, hello, outhouse. Uh, you can use that to then fertilize the fields. Obviously, uh, not today. Uh, we quite realize in the future that gives worms and other things. But at the time, very common practice. All right. Oh, yes, lovely timber hut right here to gather wood, keep it up out of the dry. Sometimes the animals would live beneath, provide heating source because the heat would rise up. You don't want to wallow in filth. All right, and let's see. You guys are almost done here, it looks like. Yes, you are waiting for a log, I suspect. We got hunting camp, which has someone assigned to it. A forager's hut that has not been built because it is short a log. Look at them farming away right there. Huh, how industrious of them. Yes, yeah, so obviously you can't really do that on a massive scale. Well, I mean, I suppose you could. It depends on how much food it uh, creates. You can only do that really on small scale unless all of them are based on food. But eventually we're going to have to expand into other industry if we expect to make any money off of these peasants. I'm not creating this town for their benefit. It's for mine. Right, and you'll notice my coffers are, are uh, <clears throat> unfortunately rather low at the moment. So let's walk around and visit everyone, shall we? Hello. That is a right proper beard. Good night. Whew. Majestic. Right, looks like we're uh, setting up over here. <laughs> Fun. All right, we're going to walk right in and visit everyone, see what's going on. Yeah, not much happening at the moment, it appears. Get some good fine silk. You can see the different patterns right there as it flows back and forth. Wah, wah, wah. Nothing like a good swishing cape to let people know exactly who the boss of the settlement is. Excuse me, madam. Saw you working in the hoe earlier. Uh, yes, sir, and you would be... Ho as well, it seems. Hmm. Alright, uh, this is actually, you can see the fence right there is the same construction I mentioned earlier about the waddle and daub. It would be that inside the walls, because, you know, if you've ever seen a modern house, uh, it's basically wood held together by nails. Not much has changed, actually, in the overall construction practice. Alright, hopefully in the meantime, while well, we got a good walk around the town, yes, our logging camp is good. We have, it looks to be... 11 population currently. We're not growing because our approval is low. Uh, so we need to finish our homeless issue. And that should help out with exposed goods. So we need our, our wood coming in. So actually, do we have two people I could spare for this? Uh, we have fuel for 15 months somehow. And uh, food for four months. So good. We're definitely moving along right here. Uh, currently we have hides and we have meat and we're filling up on both so we're going to need a pantry and storage pretty soon so let's go ahead and plan to do that uh, da, 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 logistics uh, we're using the pantry storehouse pack station hitching posts all right storehouse and granary so we don't have anything for the stone oh no we have tin stone oh it just gave us tin stone to help us out right there because otherwise that would be a tad bit difficult, let's be honest. Um, hmm. My original plan here is to eventually create a marketplace and create sort of a town square situation, because this is a rocky field anyway. Let's go ahead and think ahead and sort of do that, shall we? So I know this is eventually going to be the market area right there, right in the dead center. So in the meanwhile, we can put all of our necessary things off of it, right? So we got a granary here. Yeah, it's not enough goods, I know. Oh, it won't let me build it until there's enough goods. Hmm. Well, boys, you better get working on those uh, logs then, yeah? Where are, you, where are you chopping? I hear you chopping. Where are you chopping? Over here somewhere. Quite good at hiding in the bushes, this peasant is. There he is. Hold on. No, no, that's a tree. It's a shame. They just blend in so effectively, don't they? Watch out for bandits and such, which will be coming up shortly. you got to watch out for the bandits in this game. Uh, you'll see bandit warnings beginning to appear. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Yes, yes, I know. Thank you. If only you worked a little harder and faster, this wouldn't be a problem. So again, we have to fast forward a little bit here because Lord knows they move slowly enough. All right, there we go. Chop down the tree and beginning working on the pieces there. So the military logistics start coming in in that you have to raise a militia. And as soon as we get the storehouse built, it will give us a prompt to raise our first militia and begin fighting against uh, you know, local banditry. So we can zoom out here. You can actually see we're in a... Up oh, there's our bandit camp right there. Brigands! Outlaws. So we will need to take care of them 
post haste. Uh, otherwise, they'll begin to get into our food supplies. Oh, that's interesting. It's a dynamic map. So you actually see when it creates it there. Oh, that's quite clever. Lovely game. Uh, created by one person named Greg over the course of the last seven years in the Unreal Engine. And uh, gorgeous for This is uh, running in 4K with NVIDIA DLSS enabled. Uh, I haven't had any issues or any drop frames or anything else. So definitely something to consider as far as your rig goes. I'm on an i7 with a 3060, I think, for a point of reference. Okay. And obviously getting those nice beam architecture joined in right there. Love the gravity-defying beams. Normally this would come in twos uh, <laughs> to create the, <laughs> the roofing structure there. But uh, I, I think they're short a log at the moment. Uh, hopefully that will change. Um, I don't want the hitching post to be there. We should probably move the hitching post to the place where people will use it. Which is right here. So that way... Uh, when they're done with the ox, they hitch it in a place everyone can use it again. Right, supplies, can't relocate, can't relocate. Hopefully we will uh, get through into those in a minute, otherwise we're going to lose all of them. Disease, people suffering from disease may stop working. Access to herbs might speed up their recovery, while a varied diet increases disease resistance. Don't have either one of those at the moment. They're just going to have to suffer. Now, the game does have a level up system. You'll notice right now it says uh, Burgage Prots level one or higher. If you want five Burgage Plots, then we'll get a skill level. And we can invest it in any of the various regions of specialities right here, which is quite fun. Um, but at the moment, we're trying to just get to the point that everybody has a house. Um, and then we'll worry about the rest of it. <laughs> All right. Still doing good on fuel and fire. Uh, we do have to make a separate building eventually for fuel, which uh, is firewood right here. So this will create firewood at the woodcutter's lodge. But I very much want to build our supply houses before then. Yes, granary. Let's get our food right here and storehouse right there so we have all of our stuff sort of going in and it does require well, nice finish the burgage plot and we still have three families that are not housed okay um hmm. can't upgrade it general people residing families construct it and lots of different things to do there Extension, bakery extension, blacksmith's extension, workshop extension, orchard. Hmm. Residential stuff, so I think we just need to do five quick houses. Right, continue making houses. And burgage plot. Uh-oh, that was a... Right. Let's see what that warning was, because it did not look good. Um, people still being homeless. I think our supplies are getting wet. Oh, we have to leave the build mode. Oh, come on. Um, you can always hire mercenaries if you really need people. Running out of fuel. I think it's because our fuel supplies just got soaked. But we can put in a woodcutter's lodge to start making firewood now. Because we, uh, have a place to store it. Before we didn't have a place to store it, now we do. So we're going to let them take priority on that one. Alright, yep, I'd love for you guys to get those stores out of the weather. But that is not me. Um, I am too busy strutting around. Looking good while doing it. Let's go visit what's going on over here. I'm going to run. Hup, 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 hup. It's the month of merry little month of May. Lovely flowers on the ground, nice greenery. Uh, there's no option to pitch in because you're a noble. Why would you do that? Uh, this is the, their job, not yours. Uh, woodcutters camp here. Obviously, you're going to start making firewood for the rest of the town. You need to have a good stockpile of that. In fact, you have to have... Uh, consumes one fuel per month. And, uh, yeah, I think it says in the winter it actually consumes double the amount of fuel. Because, surprise, you're not just cooking. You're also using it for warmth. All right. Uh, that's being built still. Logging camp. How many logs are we up to? Uh, we're up to eight timber. We can drop one person out of that at the moment because we need them to build things and do, you know, other stuff that's useful. Like, uh, gather berries. 
And that is a problem you're going to run into in the early game. Presents, ironically, don't breed fast enough. Uh, you need to attract them to your town. And to do that, you first have to tackle homelessness. You have to have good food. You have to have good water supply. You have to have all the things a burgeoning peasant needs. Uh, which is a bit of a tough ask early on in the game. Right. Storage is full. Hunting camp. Family request a market area for their stalls. Yes, this is what I was talking about before. So, when someone works something for long enough, they get figure out sort of how to do it. So you can then build a marketplace for them. So in this case, it's 102 available market stalls. It's probably far too many. <laughs> um, but the benefit here is the more space we give it later on, that means more people can live around it. So we want to try and back people up to it and get them as many people like towns and houses close to that market stall as possible. So yeah, that's going to put a marketplace in, and basically as people get excess goods, they'll come in and sell them, which is how a market works. And we'll start getting a thriving economy. Which is the idea there. All right. Let's see. That's going in. Woodcutter's Lodge is under construction. We seem to have fuel again. Don't know how. Um, guess some of it just broke down. Total goods. Surplus goods, which is what we actually need. Stone and timber. And we're going to build a church eventually, because every one of our burgage things wants a church to be happy. Uh, but we need planks to do that, and planks can only be had by first creating a sawmill, uh, which da, 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 was right around here. Yes, sawmill, so we have to dig out the pit and all that. I don't want to do that until after our uh, fuel depot is built there, and our happiness starts to recover, and we've finished tackling our homelessness issue. Uh, which apparently is going to continue to be an issue until everyone is a house. Uh, darndest thing, right? You know what? Let's go ahead and build those other two houses. Because I think that we're going to want them pretty soon. Nope, wasn't quite long enough. So I'm saying you got to be careful to make sure they're long enough there. That way you get what you need out of them. It's fine. This is... Uh, terrain deformations, you'll notice the more a road gets used, the more the road gets sort of gutted down there, which is pretty fun. Gosh, how many families are still in here? Homeless people stints. Yeah, yeah, I know. Jeez Louise. Upgrade to a worker camp. Provide crew living space for five family. Contrary to burger pots, can't be upgraded, expanded, and may call small loss of approval. Best suited as worker accommodation for outposts. Don't do it yet. Got it. Don't do that unless you have to. <laughs> is basically how that translates. Resource stolen by nearby bandits. 15 meat. Yep, that's the one I was talking about. So hopefully we can take a militia out there to fight them pretty soon. Because they are going to keep doing that. New message. Strong militia is paramount to the survival of any settlement. Luckily, a shipment of weapons has just arrived, and you'll be able to create your first militia banners to serve you and protect your people. However, you need more weapons to equip all the people as the settlement grows, either by making them or importing them from other lands. And that's where that comes from. Now, we need to take care of those guys sooner rather than later. We have spears, we have shields, we have people. So, that is a spear militia unit, in my opinion. And we can... Rally them right up here because that's where they're going to need to go. Now, one thing to know about militias these are just your people. If they die, you're short on people. So um, don't be just sending your militia all over the place. It's like less mouse and hold and drag to select multiple units. Command select units to right. Hold and drag right to form a line. Hold alt while dragging to form formation with multiple units. Hold control to drag waypoints. Pretty standard RTS controls. All right. Stances. Stances are below. Fatigue. Morale. All of them have pros and cons. Makes sense. Alright. Here's our people. Missile alert. Balanced. Stand your ground or push forward. Give ground. And move. Alright. We need to take them up here. And take out these sorry suckers right here because they are just going to keep robbing us otherwise. And I think that is the only nearby bandit camp, hopefully, because otherwise we're going to have a really rough time of it. Family members join one of the settlers, Burgage Pot Level 1. Okay, nice. So people are continuing to grow. You'll notice we don't have any warnings anymore. We're doing pretty good. And we have the ability to level up. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. 
Uh, generally, trapping I find really useful because it provides a passive meat income, which is uh, very useful, especially during the winter. Uh, doubles capacity of all berry deposits. Beekeeping, workers collect honey. That's useful. Uh, and beekeeping can become wax, which is very nice. Doubles the amount of meat harvested. Oh, that'd be very nice. Up here, an orchard. Until trees are fully grown, it takes around three years. <laughs> Produce a fraction of the yield. Welcome to actual farming. It's a pain. Uh, sheep breeding, sheep grazing, the pasture slowly multiply. As sheep do. But you do have to shepherd them and help them out. Sheep do not birth easily. Heavy plows enables oxen and farmhouses. Well, trade logistics, establish a new trade route. Always costs a maximum of 25 regional wealth. Foreign supplies. And enables crafting of helmets. I kind of want to try sheep this time. I have not done sheep previously. I'll admit to you, I'm not sure this is going to work out. I know you have to import sheep, among other things, but once we get sheep, we should have a lot of sheep. In Catan, I play the sheep strategy. I generally find sheep, anything that goes ba tends to make a lot of money. I mean, you should be able to get wool out of it. You should be able to get meat out of it. Let's try sheeping. So sheep breeding there. Um, obviously, that is not something that will be useful until the next year in the spring. Probably should have got something useful on turn one. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So we got our berries coming in right there. Good berry patch. Nice and big with, you know, 120 turn of We're not going to run those anytime soon. Wild animals is running a little low, though. So we may have to take advantage of that soon. Let's see about setting up that sheep pin while we're at it, though. Let's see, I think that would be type of farming, possibly? Nope, there's some fields, farmhouse, pasture. Bright's pasture base for livestock. Sheep farm, workers collect wool from grazing sheep. Sheep are transported via the livestock trader. Okay, so we'll just, uh, what do we got here? Immer, fertility, flax, utility, barley, rye. All right, so everything down here is pretty good. So let's put them up in this little rough area up here that doesn't seem to be good for a whole heck of a lot. All right, space, pasture space 31. How much is that good for? Pasture space 37. Don't know what that means. It may be that there's a limit on the amount we can put in at that point. So let's uh, give it 44, because I don't know what that means. <laughs> we'll find out, right? Pasture space, maybe 44 maximum annals will make sense. Um, sheep farm. Right, well, the sheep farm across the street there. Just walk across the street to do it. That makes sense, theoretically. They're probably going to have sheep all over our territory, but what are you going to do? And they said to get one, we need a livestock trader, which would be industry trade. Livestock trade enables trading livestock with trade points in other settled regions. Okay, good stuff. So we don't need you to be right in the middle of town here. We'll just kind of put you on the main road. Out of, is that the main road out of town? That's the main road out of town. That's where I assume people need that sort of stuff. All right. Livestock trader coming in. All right. How's our warriors doing? You guys are approaching. Really need them to come back to uh, effectiveness 31%. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. All right. Disband. Run to positions. Okay, yeah. We didn't need you guys to be running right there, actually. Let's just uh, have you guys chill for a second and regain your stamina. Because did not know you were using that the whole time. Let's see if that comes back. Yeah, effective at 61. They're going to slowly regain all their stamina after having run across the entire map. That was my fault. I did not know it defaulted to run. And now I do. Saving finished. I am going to have them just... Oh, gosh. Hold on. Hold on. I think these are the bandits. Yep. 16 bandits. But we have shields and stuff. Let's, uh... Melee defense is halved. Stay on the ground. Defense is double, but attack frequency is halved. I don't even know, man. Um, it's a bunch of dudes with, uh... Uh, with that stuff. Let's just charge them, I guess. Let's, let's, uh... Woo! Here we go. I don't want to fight him in the bushes. Here we go. Charge him! Oh, man. I do not know about this. These are pretty well-armed brigands. 
couple of them got shields in there. Generally, we're more effectively armed, but... Ah! Okay, come on, come on. I wish there was something else I could do right here to help. <laughs> Alright. What's our numbers? 16 versus 10. Okay, so what's going to happen? Full force. Try to stay in the ground. Defense is double. Attack frequency is halved. Yeah, I don't think we need to give ground or anything. Or also push. I mean, none of that's necessary. They're pushing here, you can tell. With the aggressiveness is why we're getting pushed back. There's also more of them, but it's, uh... I don't know what else to do here. Like, let's just let him go. All right. Well, they're losing numbers. They're at 13. We're at 10 still, so that's good. Nine. Ah. Really? We're gonna fight to the last man? Jeez, Louise. Okay, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, yeah, they're breaking. It looks like. Or, yeah. So that's good. We are. All right, man, we got him. Good stuff. Okay, uh, we can go up and take out that camp because otherwise they will respawn and we definitely don't want that. So let's go raise that camp and loot it because forget those guys. We just lost, what, like three people doing that. Those are three people we really needed. <laughs> Peasants don't grow on but trees. Well, they kind of do. I mean, they grow on wheat, but you know, it isn't as important. Point is we can replace them. It just takes too long. That's just, that's uh, nine out of like 30 guys. You can have six or seven units. So you can probably have 200 guys in a battle on screen at one time. Obviously, this is pretty low level right now. It's just like a local militia. But we also have the ability of, you know, hiring mercenaries and things like that to come in that take uh, wealth. Like this is 50 from our treasury, 110 from our treasury. Um, currently, we have nothing in our treasury. So uh, definitely not something we're capable of doing at the moment. Though it is something that is possible. We're, we're going to play this first uh, round through the winter. So you can see it's like trying to make sure all your ducks are in a row. All right. Send resources to your town. This belongs to my treasury now. So generally, you want to send it to the town. We only have one town anyway. So great stuff. Um, we flattened the stuff and it's ours. And yeah, man, I think we can just disband. Um, run to positions, hold. I think you have to come back to your own territory to disband. So let's do that. Once you get back home, all these guys can sort of figure out where to go from there. All right, how are we doing back here? Oh man, I was like so distracted. <laughs> I forgot we were like building stuff. Um, you still have not been built. Yeah, nothing can get built because we have nobody in the town. Duh. <laughs> Half the manpower went to go fight that battle. Um, yeah, that's the problem with militias, folks. That's why dedicated armies and things like that became a thing in the later medieval era. Uh, <laughs> if your entire town wealth is just like random guys. All right. And... All right. Hold. Can we disband here? Or does that have to be closer still? Uh, disband. Return to the daily lives of civilians. Mercenaries leave your service. Cool. Middle village will be distributed between all militia units. So they will then find a required requirement, equipment and whatever. So rally. Right, yeah. Thomas the woodcutter. Everybody is finished, man. They're going back home. Got a sheep farm. Nice. Pasture space 05. Space your sheep and lambs to graze without enough space. The animals will run away. All right, so yeah, we didn't do that properly. That's okay. We kind of figured that wouldn't work. Um, so let's define that again. <laughs> I, I really did wonder about that one. I was like, ah, I think I got this in the wrong spot. Um, all right, so we'll do pasture space down to here. And back around like that. Nope, it doesn't like that. Let's just do it this way. All right, pasture space of 30. All right, does that count as having pasture space now? Pasture space zero of five. Huh, um, 
maybe it has to be like directly in front of it, like it's to open into it. I don't know. Space for your sheep landscape. So I know space the animals and they run away. I think it's like a generic pasture space versus like a specific pasture space. But we'll see on that one. I don't know. I'll be curious how that one works. Uh, before with the farm, you sort of like had like a designated area and they would go out and work the farm. So it may be like they take them out of the pens and bring them here, but I honestly don't know. All right, we'll see. There's a logic to the game, but it's not always obvious what the logic is. Like there's always like, oh yeah, yeah, I see what he's thinking here. But uh, I don't know about that one. That one, you occasionally you gotta really see how it works, <laughs> ironically. Like most of these in life, you have to see how it works to figure out how it works. Right, people, advance, trade, livestock. Right, trade, sheep, we want to buy, export, import, price. Desired certain plot, the trade rule is set to no trade. Trade rule is set to no trade. Connected to the road network. General. Okay, nothing to store inside. Trade. Trade rule is set to no trade. Why is it set to no trade? If I put someone working here? Show workplace. Advanced. Connected to the road. Trade. Unassigned families needed for construction work. <laughs> yeah, it's still not important people, are we? Um, we don't have homelessness anymore. We got good food variety, but um, we don't have extra food and stuff coming in still. Do we have any hunters assigned? We have hunters. We have berries. I was hoping they would start to sell food. They don't. That's fine. Um, we have our storehouses. Meat and hides and stone. So one thing I know we can do is... For our building stuff, we can do some industry and make tannery, which makes leather, uh, which can be used to make clothes, which is fun to know. So we should have plenty of log things. I don't want to put the tannery near the town because they smell horrifyingly bad and are disgusting. And I know that just from knowing history. Because to do it, they use dog feces and urine and every other thing you can imagine. Well, they would typically put tanneries at the edge of town because all of that awful and excrement has to flow somewhere and you don't want it flowing into your water system. Even back then, they're like, this is a bad idea. <laughs> you don't poop where you eat, right? Um, so tanneries, always want to keep them at the edge of town. All right, come on, man. I want some sheep. A lot because the trade rule is set to no trade. You know, for the purposes of this, let's build a trading post and see if that enables trade kind of there's a logic to it that basically you can't do livestock trading until you have a trading post so you have to have one to have the other it may be that i sort of skipped a uh skipped a necessary beat right there ah import haha <laughs> that's on the left hand side over there figured it out there's a little drop down menu desired surplus so pasture space of five so we will start off with just Four. Let's assume that's two breeding pairs, right? Yeah, two breeding pairs. Makes sense. Um, put a guy in there to actually do that. Connected to the road network. Trade. Livestock. All right, and here, you can do all sorts of other stuff. We can order horses. Permanent livestock assignment. We can trade all of our stuff away or get new ones. We can establish trade routes to begin getting these things. Instead of building the thing to get planks, I could just buy some. Because two is really, really cheap. Um, but it costs seven to establish that trade route. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I, I kind of want to import. And we need, I think, ten planks it said it was. Because I'd rather just import them than have to actually call that crap down. Because I don't have a lot of people for that at the moment. Um... That would be really nice. Let's see. As it said, churches cost 20 planks, right? So. Twenty planks. Right. And then establish that trade route. Pay to establish a trade route. Yep. Okay, great. And then importing goods, I would assume. So we'll see if that number goes up pretty shortly there, because it's moving. Cool, yeah, and our numbers went down, so I mean, it's, theoretically, we'll start getting stuff pretty soon, which would be pretty cool. All right, um, what do we got going on? Uh, what do we need? What do we need? 
Oh yeah, we're out of fuel. Oh gosh, we're about to be really out of fuel very shortly. That's how that, the woodcutter's lodge was a little slow getting built. Um, <laughs> so the tannery's nice because the tanner will make leather goods, which gives us a stall, which should give us a clothing stall supply. And then we actually upgrade some of this stuff to higher levels, which would be pretty cool. All right, what else can we do here? So eggs, that's a new type of food. Hide. Okay, burgage plot level too low for a bakery. Or for clothes. Ooh, gambesons. That's a uh, padded armor. Bandit camp was sighted. Oh no. We're at. How far? Oh man, right on the edge here. Um how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh man. Really don't have to fight those guys. But we're gonna have to, otherwise they will eventually raid us. Okay, that's cool. It's cool. I don't want to lose peasants, but they're just peasants. What do you want from them? I wonder if it tells you how long before the trade happens. Well, just that they are trading. Desired surplus, current surplus. So desired surplus is actually 20. We can also trade for some armor and stuff, which would be pretty cool. Advance, people, trade. Uh, it's military, but the thing is to establish those routes is really expensive. Um, I think my guy's just going to have to die for a little bit. <laughs> hate to be that way, but um, 72 just to establish the route is rough. I think we can buy some firewood. I don't know. I think we can pause on the berries for a little bit, really. I think also the berries stop being produced because they're seasonal, right? So you don't want to run out your berries. Um, but we also don't want to unassign that person because they are providing us with a berry stall, which provides everybody with berries. So kind of want to keep them on that job. When a population herd drops this number, hunting will stop. And I think they have stopped because they are at 10. Yeah, so they can go sign and do something else because herd management don't want to cull too many. Basic forestry rules. All right. Trading post. I wonder, like I said, if I need to put somebody on the trading post to make that one happen. So not enough supplies. Um, yep, we're running out of fuel still. I need to up the people getting fuel. And we can pull people off something else. Family members join one of the settlers. Nice. <laughs> Moved in. <laughs> Please, yes. <laughs> Anything you can. Current surplus. Four. Livestock. Four. Okay. Okay, how do I get the sheep... Okay, it says I currently have four livestock. All right, let's figure this out. All right, here we go. So we have our four sheep. Desire plus is four. Current surplus is four. Okay. Okay, so we'll put it back to no trade. Okay, do we have to, like, assign someone to that? How does this work? Hey, we have sheep. Oh, there they are, man. Look at them. They're all, like, sheepy and stuff. And they should start breeding and doing all sorts of stuff, man. That's very cool. All right, so yeah, that pasture space is four out of 30. Okay, so we can have a bunch of sheep. Oh, that's going to be great. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to those sheep, man. Said nobody ever who has worked with sheep. <laughs> all right, so we don't need anybody else working that at the moment. Okay, cool. That worked. Nice. All right, but I think more burgage plots are necessary to help us keep growing at this point. Because I don't... Nope. Oh. Don't want to do it that way. Alrighty. Looking good. Almost three here. Almost. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we do it? I mean, I really don't want to do that. Alright, we'll just do two skinny ones that way. There we go. <laughs> it really didn't like that. <laughs> I love the freeform drawing system. It's very cool. So you, you draw out your own plots and stuff, which is particularly interesting here. Okay. Now we have excess of wool, which is good. And wool can be used to make um, cloth, I assume. Or something. Wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. Alright, cool. Yes, I mean, we can get a weaver's workshop. That's pretty cool. I wonder if you can do that through the Burgle stuff, because that's part of the thing they used to do. And it's basically these kind of minor industries like that they can always do in the backyard. Barley, armors, goats, apples, bowyers. Hmm. 
you know, one of the biggest manufacturers of arrows in medieval England was the uh, cottage industry. So each individual cottage would like make a bucket of arrows and that bucket of arrows would then get sold back to the crown. So they call it the cottage industry. And we still sort of use that today for anything sort of run out of a house. Winter's approaching. Oh man, Bandit stole the resources. Um, okay. <laughs> Really gonna need to take care of those guys, but I also need the firewood really badly. So it's sort of a catch-22 situation. Um, that's the only way to get new people is to constantly have growth, because otherwise you don't have a house, people won't move in. So yeah, hopefully this will help us to attract new people and more families. Previously we did have some homelessness, so all right, good. Winter's approaching. We got no fuel for six months, but the winter months are going to go through twice as many. Uh, winter lasts in this game from December to February, so December, January, February, so three months. The six fuel should be just enough. <laughs> are there any people in here? Residing families, zero. Residing families, zero. People residing families, one. He's a firewood cutter. His name is Heinz. His name is Dan. <laughs> can you edit that? I bet I can. Yep. Eamon Routh is now. Bonze Town. No. Bonneville. Which is actually where Bonds comes from, probably. The town of Bonds. Because it's fun to edit stuff like that, folks. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yep, that's winner. Hey, family just moved in. Nice. Oh gosh, I would love to have more families. That's wonderful. Except for the fact that you guys are also going to eat a whole bunch of food, aren't you? But we also need you to work on the fuel stuff. So, <laughs> catch 22s here, folks. How many free people do we have? Low population growth, neutral approval, living space. How many families currently accommodate? Okay, so... I love that. The snow just like appears like that. That was so cool. That's one of the things you can sort of see it in the ground even now like where people walk. I mean, that snow is so freaking gorgeous. I mean, you literally just look out a window. That's what it would look like in the middle of the winter. That's so gorgeous. Man, this game. <laughs> it's weird to just like stop and gush for a moment, but that is just wonderful. <laughs> Red deer. Resources stolen by bandits. All right, it's the winter. I think we have enough time to be able to take care of this. So let's go take care of those bandits. All right, not everybody has... Not everybody's recruits missing. All right, guys, let's go take care of the bandits. All right, here we go. Gosh. All right, boys, guess what? not going to run because I don't want you to be exhausted but you are going to come over here and kick these guys out because they're just going to keep stealing your stuff otherwise they don't look very well armed so that's good ooh no they got a couple padded gambesons in here I think they are getting better organized which could be a problem later on but it's alright it's alright while that's going on will my economy fall apart gosh isn't every adult male basically is gone if this does not go well, we are screwed. Oh, man. <laughs> you don't think about the implications and stuff like that until you're just forced to watch it. All right, do it. You know, we don't... I mean, really, these are defensive units, and we need a second unit to attack them right there, but as it is, it's kind of use what we got. So, again, they're pushing... How's our numbers looking? Oh, geez, all those animations are gorgeous. Alright. Uh, we've lost... Oh, jeez, we lost a bunch of guys. I think we're about to run away. No, no, we did we win? We won. Okay, hey. No, that was really tight. <laughs> Whew. Man, that's really costly. We need to upgrade that. <laughs> I should have splurged for the gambesons. <laughs> I 
New message. Send resources to the nearby town. Yes, please. So we got 193 wealth again, so that's good. Um, can we just disband now? I think we have to wait till we're back in our own territory to disband. Which luckily is pretty close by. And you guys can run. <laughs> You're not really needed for your combat effectiveness anymore. So, disband. There we go. I don't know why you guys are going that way. Oh, I guess they're going to take the road. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. So, yeah, they're automatically pathing to what they feel is the fastest way back home again, which for them is just coming through the woods there and then down and over. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So you can see where people are walking through the snow constantly, and it wears it down. That is such a cool feature, that wear feature. All right. We're going to survive this first winter, man. That's the goal. Surviving the first winter. And it has been tough. Tougher than I would have expected. All right. How are we looking? We got fuel. We got food. I would not exactly say we are thriving anymore. How many how many sheep do we have? Four out of thirty. All right. And in the spring, we should lamb. Hey, shepherd's crook. Fun. So fun fact. Let me see if they have the long tail. Yeah. So medieval sheep didn't quite look the same. A little skinnier, longer tail. Um, not as like refined as modern sheep because they hadn't sort of been bred for that super sheepiness yet. So a lot of the medieval breeds aren't like as specialized as what you see now, like the giant horses, giant cows with huge udders, things like that. Like they're still really going into building the stock for that stuff. So I figured that we'd be able to butcher some livestock or something as well, but it looks like it's just giving me a... Uh, hmm, just giving the wool. That's fine, whatever. Next summer we can plan to plant some agriculture here with some immer, which is wheat, right? Includes flax and barley. Flax and barley. Immer looks really good here. One point three Morgan. Apparently, Morgan is like two acres. So there we go. And then we can do a farm here. I should have done that. I think I did that wrong. Let's try that again. And this is one they actually have crop rotation in this game, so you can go fallow, wheat, barley, and flax. So And if you don't know what crop rotation is important for, uh, basically if you crop if it plant the same thing too many times on the same location, it depletes the resources of the soil. And so it's very important to do a crop rotation method, which is something they came up with during the Middle Ages again. Um, they eventually said, you know, certain nutrients have to be absorbed, all that kind of fun stuff. So right now we're doing wheat because that grows best. And then we'll have to go to either barley or flax afterwards. Um, because otherwise it's going to be uh, a bit of a, pr a problem. So do barley and then wheat and then fallow. So it'll be like produce one year, produce something less the next year, and then leave it a, give it a year to sort of regain its abilities to make stuff. How are we doing? Um, oh, we can get level two burgage plots. And if we do, we can upgrade. So let's go ahead and build ourselves that church. And sort of uh, pretty near the town center here, I think. There we go. And that will let us uh, let's upgrade a couple of our things because all they're missing is church level. Hmm. All right, boys, come on in there. Make ourselves a church. And we don't need to worry about the surplus on this anymore. Trade. You know what? You can just turn that off, I think, now. No trade. But we can do whatever we want. Oh, we can follow the merchant. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Just trundling along there. Hey, bud. Got bad news for you. When you get here, um, we're not going to want your stuff. You can see the snow on him. Oh, that is so cool. Almost over through the winter here, man. We're about to hit spring again in March. And we'll have completed our first year. I need to up my, upgrade my militia. We gotta figure something else out because we got 294 regional wealth now. Definitely need to get into that because I think it said one of these made gambesons, right? Oh, administration, settlers camp, and a manor grants you an influence. You gotta have to have influence to start being able to take over nearby towns. So I'll need that eventually for sure. Corpse pit <laughs> for. <laughs> robbers and stuff. Just toss them in the pit. Always fun. Uh, 
farms industry. Have we started getting any kind of wool yet here? Oh no, we got wool. Okay, so it's definitely worth it to go ahead and build something for the wool, because otherwise it just sort of sits there and doesn't get used for anything. Alright, tannery, weaver workshop. Workshops don't need to be in the middle of town. Burgle plots do, because that's where people want to live. Where are all my houses filled up already? They are. Need to keep building houses, for sure. Let's finish doing this church first. That's fine, upgrade. Yeah, growing cycles. We talked about that a moment ago. Fuel and fallow harvest season and a plow station. Enables employing oxen in the farmhouse to make faster large fields, as well as bringing crops back to storage more efficiently. Yeah, definitely want to do that. We're going to need some oxen for that, though, which we can trade for. Nope, it's right here. Trade for livestock, and we want an ox. And desired surplus of one ox. I'm going to trade, import, an ox. <laughs> Fun. Okay, cool. I'm sure eventually we can start doing some animal husbandry and stuff like that as well. Unassigned families needed for construction, of course. <laughs> yep, I should have known better. Whatever. Need more families. Need more burgle plots. Uh, I think they both get it right there. There we go. More families. More stalls. More stuff. New message. A band of raiders roaming the Murray by land. Should we track their steps? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Raiders nearby. Okay, we've got 365 days, so we get attacked by a bunch of raiders. How many? I don't know. Um, we're going to need a lot more militia before that happens. Or some mercenaries or something. Because that ain't going to work. But we survived our first winter. And that's something. <laughs> Year 2 challenge. Not survive, but don't get killed by mar uh, raiders there. So let's let this church finish. And we can upgrade a couple stuff. And become a small village to a medium village. And I think that's going to be where we're going to stop. Because i got to figure out the best way to fight these guys off and that includes getting gambesons and armor and a whole bunch of other stuff and getting more people in so we can have more people in the militia oh man turns out running a medieval town can be kind of tough who knew it's not just the peasants fault up it goes all right that should be everything we need to upgrade stuff now nice so you can upgrade this to a level two house cost four wood generates one Upgrade to level two. How many of those do we need? It says we need two of them at level two or higher. And iron will be useful for other things, such as when we can eventually make weapons. Okay. So let's get a mine going. Stone cutter camp. Mining pit. This is building around on top of it. Okay, that worked. And we have a stone cutters camp down here as well, which um, we haven't landed a lot of stone yet so far. But the iron, I think, will keep coming up because you have to build more military stuff with it, and military stuff requires the iron. Oh no! Deforestation killed the berry bushes. Didn't know that was a thing that could happen. Limit the work area. Jeez Louise. Okay, yeah, don't want to kill the berry bushes. Actually, you know what? Here. Work area to right over here, folks. The place where there are no berry bushes. We do not want to kill berry bushes. We eat those. So upgrade this to a level two. Right, and that should allow us to do some really fun stuff. So we go in here. Alright, settlement level increased medium-sized village nice so now we can build all these extra things basic armoring basic armor making closing gambesons that's what i was talking about right there because we need the new instruction of clothes closing gambesons to the tailor's workshop that's what we need and it requires planks good to know heavy plow seemed especially useful for the oxen armor making armor making Deep mining. <clears throat> Trade route. 
trade route. <clears throat> Fertilization allows a fair field as a pasture, which rapidly grows lost facility. Fertility, that's clever. You have the uh, sheep eat in it, and they poop in it, and make it all back better. And then rye, which is better for you. Hmm. I feel like for this first level, we're going to need some helmets. So let's do some military stuff, just because it's going to come up in 300 and... 13 days. Ooh. Right. Uh, so, yeah. In 313 days, that's going to happen to us. And in the meantime, we can start making gambesons and whatever else, but we need to make something that can do the planks. But to make something that can make the planks, we got to have people. But that's all right. It's fun. That's what Manor Lords is. You're the lord of the manor, and it turns out that can be kind of difficult. Uh, join us next time, and we'll take the fight to however many raiders are coming towards us, because clearly it's going to be rough. But I think we can get armored up, and hopefully we won't lose our entire village in the meantime. Uh, we should also begin to take over some other areas. We can claim with influence or claim with king's favor, neither of which do we have at the moment, uh, but require us to make a king's manor, which we can start working on next time as well. But we have a pretty good community going along here, so we should be able to start moving with it. Thanks for watching. This is Manor Lords, releases at the end of April, and whew, it's pretty. I'll see you at that. There's a lot to do. Thanks for watching.